I slept one night, I have about 30 million dollars in property and this and this and this, and I woke up one morning, I don't have 30 dollars in my pocket. I tried to commit suicide three times. God doesn't want me to have that. I went to the Coyote Point, and I put the gun in my mouth, and I fired. The gun will not fire. I fired in the sky, it fired. I did it second time in my mouth, it won't fire. I fired the sky, it won't fire. I went to a tree the second day. I went to a tree with the branch that thick, so strong. I went to Home Depot, I got a robe, I put it in my neck, and I put it under my feet, uh, empty can paint, and I kicked it away when my weight pulled the branch, it broke down. In the backyard of this house right there, I took over 80 pills of aspirin, Tylenol, Advil. Nothing happened. I called a friend of mine, doctor, he's a dentist. I told him, I, I exceeded the limitation by taking Advil. I did not tell him I'm coming suicide. He said, don't worry, you're not gonna die, you're gonna have an ulcer. How it's like, I could not talk to my wife. I'm supposedly retired. I went back to what I did in the beginning. I'm opening right now. I opened dollar store, you know, everything for a dollar in Antioch. My luck was so bad. In one year, they broke into it about five, six times. And last Sunday, 1 a.m. in the morning, somebody set it on fire. Now I'm trying to open another one in San Jose. I just leased the building and I'm working in it. I am at my age right now working like when I came to the United States 43 years ago. I'm living day by day. How is it like? I don't want to be emotional. I wish the Lord take me. I wish the Lord take me because nothing lived for me.